since there are more pickup trucks in this state than any other state in the union, it's important to note that if you are hauling items in the bed of your truck, you are responsible for whether they blow out or not. So if you put gravel or sand or leaves in the back of your truck, then you need to put a tarp over the top of it so it doesn't blow out. And the same is going to be true if you're hauling furniture in the bed of that truck. You are responsible for keeping that tied in and secured so that it doesn't fall in the road, causing a problem for other drivers on the road. Now, another role that your pickup may play is towing. And when it comes to towing in Texas, I just have three pieces of information about that. One, your tow rope or chain or the tow bar can be no longer than 15 feet. Rule two, you're supposed to tie a white rag on the rope. The rag must be at least 12 inches in width. And then finally, I recommend that if you are in the process of towing another vehicle, put your hazard lights on. Unless the battery on the vehicle being towed is broken or dead, put the hazard lights on the vehicle being towed on as well. So if you're towing a vehicle, I think it's a great idea to put the hazard lights on on your pickup and then also on the vehicle being towed. That way you warn everyone around you what's going on, why you're going so slow, and always drive in the right-hand lane when you are towing another vehicle because you should be going incredibly slow, probably no faster than 25, maybe 30 miles an hour, no matter what road you're on. Also realize that there's no way you could tow a vehicle on the highway because then you would be impeding the flow of traffic and that is a tickable offense. So there is such a thing as driving too slow on a highway. Okay, so remember these thoughts and ideas when it comes to carrying things in the bed of your truck or towing another vehicle.